Spider Guard is a really potent open guard for both defense and offense. I had a student ask me just today, um, what does it matter, what's the difference if they stand in your Spider Guard versus they don't? And the quick answer for this, there's a lot of different ways to do Spider Guard, a lot of different hip configurations and foot configurations we can use, but it's extremely difficult to pass the Spider Guard if you don't stand. And so if you find yourself caught in someone's Spider Guard, you should stand up to clear their spider hooks, which we'll, we'll talk about in a subsequent video. But if you are on your back, and you find that you get your spider hooks and they won't stand, there's a very simple but effective sweep we can do from there. So first we're gonna go over some basics of controlling the spider guard from the, from the position where my opponent does not stand, and then we'll talk about a simple scissor sweep variation that's really useful here. So first of all, let's talk about terminology. You will hear people refer to many different positions as spider guard, but sort of a classic way to think of it is the double bicep spider guard where I step on both of my partner's biceps. Of course, this isn't the only way to do it, right? As we talk about in the other open guard videos, guard is about hitting targets. So his target could be a, my target could be a hip, my target could be a bicep, my target could be a hook if he stands, right? And so you'll see people play spider guard with one foot on the hip, one foot on the bicep. You'll see people play what's called the spider lasso. Really useful. But when you hear people talk about classic spider guard, generally speaking, you're going to be talking about the double bicep, which is a really effective defensive position. So I'm gonna have my foot on the bicep with my pinky toe in his elbow pit, I'm gonna switch, and I'm gonna put my other pinky toe in his other elbow pit, right? So as you can see, and I've often wondered why we didn't call this puppet master guard, because Jesse feels kind of puppet-like, right? The thing that makes this difficult is that in order for Jesse to get out of this position, he's gotta clear the hooks, right? But his center of gravity is high and his elbows are away from his body, both of which make him not strong. So if you were trying to clear the hooks, it's like his arms against my whole body of physical structures, right? And the more he wrestles, probably the more off balance you feel, right? So one really common and useful spider guard drill you'll see is switching sides. Where you see my high side has my leg extended and my low side has my knee bent, right? The reason for this is if Jesse were to try to stand, and go ahead and stand here for now, and walk toward the high side, one way you can clear the hooks is by popping his, his hips forward like a kettlebell swing, right? So to defend this, if he tries to do this, I can switch sides, right? Now it's much less useful, so if he walks to that side, I'll be switching, right? Switching sides. But let's say, so, so that, that's just something to keep in mind. You can, there are things you can do from uh, a sort of a symmetrical configuration too, but most, for the most part, you're gonna be like this. All right, so if Jesse doesn't, now if Jesse does stand, right, we have sweeps that we can do from here. We can also start doing things like, you know, the spider lasso or the spider, you know, spider guard with a, an outside hook or things like that. Often, though, we want them to stand, right, because we, we assume they're going to so we can get the game going. What if they don't stand, right? And we, but Jesse will tell you, like, and most people that have a sense of their bodies are, are going to stand, but a lot of times people that don't know what to do will just hang out here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a simple variation on the scissor sweep. And we can be switching sides, right, just depending on what they're doing and depending on what side you're comfortable at. But whatever, whenever we're ready to go, the high side stays high, and my foot comes off the bicep of the opposite foot, and I just pull this sleeve to my armpit as I rotate. And we can come up, either take them out, or immediately start attacking the arm bar, triangle, or other sorts of stuff from the mount. Uh, so um, the mechanics are really similar to a scissor sweep, right? Where we rotate the high side, and we sort of block their knee so they can't widen their base, and then we come over on the top. So let's do that one more time. So however we get here, right? Maybe we do our simple drill to get to the open guard. Move my hips out, get the bicep. Move my hips out, get the other bicep. If my buddy stands, of course, there's all sorts of other stuff we can get up into that we'll talk about in other videos. But however we want to do this, it has to be the high side rotating. This foot comes off, and I just rotate, come to the top. Often when I do it, I'll leave my foot on this bicep, because it keeps him stuck, and we can go for mounted triangles and things like that that are fun. Now, the, I will tell you the majority, it's very important everybody who learns to play spider guard does know this sweep, but I will also tell you that the majority of people that you train with, even if they're not experienced, are going to stand when this happens. 
because it just feels like your center of gravity is being raised and you're like, it feels right to stand. Awesome. We'll have a plan from there too. We can switch to other forms of guard. We can use the spider guard to attack from a standing position, which we'll talk about in future videos. But just be aware that that may happen. If it doesn't happen though, this is a really safe and really potent option for when our partner stays on there.